Find the midpoint of the line segment. So what does that exactly mean? What is a midpoint? How do you find it? And what would be its coordinates? Think about the word itself, midpoint. If you break it down, it should sound like two familiar words that you do know. Or think of maybe where you've heard it before or how it could apply to this new situation. Well, the midpoint of this segment or this line segment is 6, 4. It would be this point here. How would we find it? Well, midpoint, that word mid is for the middle. So it is in the middle of the segment. And the coordinates of the midpoint would be, how would we find it? Well, we would take the average of the x coordinates we're given, and we would take the average of the y coordinates we're given. To find 6, 4, we did 3 plus 9 divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then 4 plus 4 divided by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So this is how we can calculate any midpoint of any line segment. If it has the endpoints of x1, y1, and x2, y2, we're finding the average between the x coordinates and the average between the y coordinates. It's x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. The x and the y coordinates of the midpoints, again, are those averages of the x and y coordinates of the endpoints. So let's take a look at an example here. We have the midpoint of segment AB is the point M on segment AB halfway between the endpoints of A and B. So we need to start off with our endpoints and then find the average of the X values and the Y values to find the midpoint. So we have the midpoint formula which is using those averages of X1 plus X2 divided by 2. So in this case we have our first point is X1 and Y1. Our second point B is x2 and y2. So x1 plus x2 is going to be 2 plus 8 divided by 2. So that's then 10 divided by 2, which is 5. We then have y1 plus y2 divided by 2 for the y coordinate, which is going to be 5 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So the fractions in simplest form is 5, 3. So 5, 3 is the midpoint of segment A, B. And you can even visually see it looks like it's halfway between segment A, B. It's halfway between those two points. Let's try one more example. Here we now have find the midpoint between the segment or between the two points that form the segment of 1, 0 and negative 5, 3. So if we use the midpoint formula and the fact that 1, 0 would be x1, y1, and negative 5 would be x2 and 3 would be y2, we can find the averages between the x coordinates. So x1 plus x2 divided by 2 would be 1 plus negative 5 divided by 2 when we substituted in the values. When we simplify the numerator, 1 plus negative 5 is negative 4. And then simplifying that fraction, negative 4 divided by 2, means we have an x coordinate of negative 2. We'll now do the same thing for the y coordinates. We'll find the average y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So that's 0 plus 3 divided by 2 when we substitute in the values. If we simplify the numerator of 0 plus 3, that's just 3. So then the fraction of 3 over 2, we can write as 1.5. So the midpoint of that segment the midpoint between the points of 1, 0, and negative 5, 3 are negative 2 and 1.5 here on the segment. And you can see that that's in the middle of the segment. It's the midpoint. 